and the insania this clan was the royal family so bishop was from a royal family and if it was in Teso, you would say the Emory Mori family. It's just because this clan has not been like uh, coming out so much to be recognized like it has happened in the rest of the country. But that's the clan where he was born. He was born 92 years ago, like many of you have read and have heard. His dad was called Do uh, Domenico Manuru and his mom was called Maria. They are now all the names. Bishop was born in a family of three siblings. I'm quite sure some of you, when I lived with Bishop, you used to ask, how is she related to him? Some called him a niece, some called him a grandchild, and so on. Bishop was born in a family of three siblings. His brother was called Ben Tomsun, and that was my grandfather, the father of my dad. My dad is here, if you can stand up for recognition. He had a sister. He had a sister who followed, who followed my granddad, and then Bishop was the last born. <coughs> I was saying that uh, my grandfather was their firstborn. My he had a, a, a sister in between, and he was their firstborn. So I referred him to him as grandpa. He was my grandpa, and currently the only grandfather we now regard as grandfather and always surviving is called Oma Charles. All my child stand up for recognition. So that's now the only surviving grandfather we know. Of course, Bishop, besides the family, he was born in a community. And that's why we have seen many of us have traveled from Busia to come and be part of this congregation to see him off. We were with a lot different to be here in the larger numbers, but because of the distance and because of difficulties of transport, some people are not able to come. Prior to becoming a bishop in 1981, I became the first bishop of Sonotic Catholic Diocese. Bishop worked in Mbale and he was the headmaster of Mbale College for many years. So it's one of the reasons why he decided to go and retire in Mbale. Unfortunately, soon after he retired, his health started failing him. The biggest problem he had were his legs. His legs got swollen, his feet got swollen. He used it, when he had just retired, he used to go to St. Austin to send us for the Christians. But time came when this could, this could not happen anymore. Time came when the bishop could not even move from his bedroom to the sitting room and he was confined in his bed. I remember one time I literally told my dad and my nephew, Elia, we are the only surviving relatives 
of Bishop. We cannot leave Bishop to die in the house at all. I told my dad, I told Evia, please leave everything and get to Bali and take care of Bishop. And I'm glad that they did. So in a special way, I want to thank my dad. I want to thank Elia. Elia is not here. He will be joining us tomorrow. He's the one who has been living with Bishop throughout. My dad lived with him a short time and had to go. Because of also other commitments at home, but also as you've seen him, he's not very young. He's uh, well over 70 now. So it's only a year who could manage to stay and take care of Bishop. I would like to thank my other nephew, James Dikusoka. Many of you also know him because he lived here at Bishop's house. So together as a family and together with the church, we've been making contributions here and there to ensure that Bishop is okay, that Bishop is well taken care of. I would like to thank the Christians from Busia, all 